Welcome to the SoftSafe test prep. This is the SoftSafe alcohol primary test part 2. We have gathered another 35 questions with explained answers from the SoftSafe exam providers. So let's get question 1. Which of the following is true of a valid form of ID? A. It must not be damaged. B. It may not have a signature. C. It may have an expired date. D. A permanent resident card is accepted anywhere as a valid ID. And the correct answer is option A. It must not be damaged. Valid forms of ID cannot be damaged in any way. They are required to have a current date that isn't expired and the owner signature. A permanent resident card may serve as an acceptable form of ID in some areas, but only at the management's discretion. Question 2. When checking the validity of an ID, which of the following is not true? A. It may or may not have a photo. B. It must not have been torn or cut. C. It must include the owner's birth date. D. It must not have been altered in any way. And the correct answer is option A. It may or may not have a photo. When checking the validity of an ID, examine it for signs of alteration or damage. It must have a photo and the owner's birth date so it can be checked against them and used to determine their age. Question 3 Today is April 6, 2019. On which date will a customer have to have been born for today to be the first day it was legal to serve them alcohol? A. April 6, 1998 B. April 6, 1999 C. April 6, 2000 D. April 6, 2001 And the correct answer is option A. April 6, 1998 Customers must be 21 years of age to be served alcohol Customer will need a birth date of April 6, 1998 to be old enough to drink on April 6, 2019. Question 4 A fight has broken out in the bar area. You have called the police. What should you do next? A. Remain calm. B. Restrain them. C. Confront the situation yourself. D. Observe the fighters up close. And the correct answer is option A. Remain calm. When dealing with potential violence, you should observe to anticipate. Prepare by informing your manager and co-workers if the situation will turn violent. Continue to monitor the situation and if it ever appears anyone is in imminent danger, call authorities. Remain calm until authorities arrive and never touch or try to restrain a violent individual by attempting to confront the situation yourself. Question 5. Which of the following counts as one standard drink? A. 1.5 ounces of 80 proof rum. B. 1.5 ounces of 100 proof scotch. C. 2 ounces of 80 proof scotch on ice. D. A mixed drink with 2 ounces of 80 proof vodka. And the correct answer is option A. 1.5 ounces of 80 proof rum. 1 and 1 half ounces of 80 proof liquor counts as one standard drink. Rum is a liquor because rounding up 
is a recommended best practice when counting drinks. Two ounces of AD proof scotch or vodka or 1.5 ounces of 100 proof rum will count as more than one standard drink. Question 6. Which of the following counts as one standard drink? A. A 12 ounce beer. B. 8 ounces of white wine. C. 1.5 ounces of 100 proof scotch. D. A mixed drink in a mercury glass. And the correct answer is option A. A 12 ounce beer. A 12 ounce beer is considered one standard drink. One ounce of 100 proof liquor and five ounces of wine will each be one standard drink. So the choices given are too much. A mixed drink in a decury glass contains more than one standard drink. Question 7 You, as a server of alcohol, are responsible for making sure a customer is at least blank years of age before selling them any alcohol. A. 18 B. 19 C. 20 D. 21 And the correct answer is option D. 21 In most states, it is illegal for anyone under the age of 21 to purchase, possess, or consume alcohol. Question 8. The ID of a customer under the age of 21 may be in a blank format. A. Bold. B. Vertical. C. Horizontal. D. Holographic. And the correct answer is option B. Vertical. Most states issue younger persons a vertical layout ID if they are under 21 years of age. Question 9. Which of the following best illustrates an obvious fake ID? A. The back is blank. B. It has a clear photo. C. It has smooth edges. D. You need a magnifier. To read the microprint and the correct answer is option A the back is blank always check the back on an ID all government issued IDs have information on the back like barcodes or magnetic strips microprint is a special feature some IDs have for added security all valid IDs should have clear photo and smooth edges. Question 10. A customer who has been drinking at your establishment for several hours stumbles on the way to the bathroom and falls. Given what you know, which of the following best represents their current condition? A. Sober. B. Intoxicated. C. Borderline intoxicated d not sober but still able to drive and the correct answer is option b intoxicated stumbling staggering swaying bumping into things dropping things and being unable to pick them up missing one's mouth spilling drinks and slurring one's speech are all signs of impaired Motor coordination, which fall under changes in balance linked with intoxication. Question 11 Which of the following is not a step in determining someone's BAC? A. Using a BAC chart. B. Guessing their age. C. Counting their drinks. D. Estimating their weight. And the correct answer is option B, guessing their age. Age is not a factor in determining BAC. To determine someone's blood alcohol content, count how many standard drinks the customer has consumed. 
estimate their weight and use a BAC chart. This gives a reasonably accurate BAC. But other factors like prior drinking, physical condition, emotional state, and medications taken also affect someone's BAC. BAC charts are only a reference tool. Question 12. A 15 ounce carafe of wine contains blank standard drinks. A. 2. B. 3. C. 4. D. 5. And the correct answer is option B. 3. 5 ounces of wine is considered one standard drink. A carafe of wine holding 15 ounces will be three standard drinks. Question 13. A 30 ounce pitcher of beer contains blank standard drinks. A. 1.5 B. 2 C. 2.5 D. 3 And the correct answer is option C. 2.5 12 ounces of beer is considered one standard drink. A pitcher of beer holding 30 ounces will be 2.5 standard drinks. Question 14. A 12 ounce beer with a 1 ounce shot of 100 proof whiskey in it. A boiler marker will be blank standard drinks. A. 1. B. 1.5. C. 2. D. 3. And the correct answer is option C, 2. A 12 ounce beer is one standard drink and one ounce of 100 proof liquor is one standard drink, making this combination two standard drinks in one. Question 15. One happy hour margarita containing four ounces of 80 proof tequila and 2 ounces of 80 proof triple sec would actually equal blank standard drinks. A. 1.5 B. 2 C. 3 D. 4 And the correct answer is option D. 4 A mixed drink containing a total of 6 ounces of 80 proof liquor will be 4 standard drinks because 1.5 ounces of AD proof liquor is considered one standard drink. Question 16. You should end service when if you A. Overhear your customer laughing. B. Serve your customer your second drink. C. Recognize signs of loneliness in your customer. D. Recognizes signs of intoxication in your customer. And the correct answer is option D. Recognize signs of intoxication in your customer. If your customer exhibits signs of intoxication or you are worried about how many drinks they have had, you should stop service. Customers should be observed as soon as they enter your establishment and changes in the voice, volume, mood, or balance should be noted. Question 17. If you are handed an ID that has blank, it is most likely fake. A. Ultraviolet imaging. B. An unusual texture. C. Text or imaging that changes color. D. Ghost photos somewhere on the card. And the correct answer is option B. An unusual texture. With IDs, an unusual texture, holes, cuts, tears, or bubbles in the lamination, rough edges, blurry or raised images, or the wrong thickness are signs of tempering and indicate the ID is fake. Text or imaging that changes color, ghost images, and 
ultraviolet images are security features that many valid IDs have. Question 18. A customer's birthday is April 10, 2005. When will they be old enough to legally drink alcohol? A. April 10, 2023. B. April 10, 2024. C. April 10, 2025. D. April 10, 2026. And the correct answer is option D, April 10, 2026. Someone born on April 10, 2005 will turn 21 on April 10, 2026. Adding 20 to the year plus 1 is an easy way to calculate without the use of born on or born before signage or calendars. Question 19. A customer appears intoxicated upon entering your establishment, but you are not allowed to prohibit them from entering. Which of the following is not something you could do once they are inside? A. Ask them to leave. B. Offer them fried food. C. Offer them non alcoholic drinks only. D. Inform your manager and monitor their behavior and the correct answer is option a ask them to leave if a customer arrives intoxicated you have the right to refuse service if you can't refuse them entry do not serve them any alcohol offer them non-alcoholic drinks or food and inform your manager of the situation Question 20. Which customer will most likely have a higher BAC after two glasses of wine? A. A tall 25 year old man. B. A tall 25 year old woman. C. A short 25 year old man. D. A petite 25 year old woman. And the correct answer is option D, a petite 25 year old woman. Women generally have a higher BAC than men because they have more body fat. A smaller amount of the enzyme known to break down alcohol and are often smaller. A person's size also affects BAC because the more blood someone has, the more diluted alcohol becomes. A petite 25 year old woman will have a higher BAC. Question 21 A glass of 1.5 ounces of 80 proof scotch on the rocks will equal blank standard drinks A. A half B. One C. One and a half D. Two And the correct answer is option B. One 1.5 ounces of AD proof liquor is considered one standard drink. Question 22. A group of four women are drinking together. Which of the following will most likely have the lowest BAC? A. The shortest woman who is dieting. B. The largest woman who is celebrating. C. The youngest woman who is drinking quickly. D. The thin woman was eating fried chicken fingers. And the correct answer is option B. The largest woman who is celebrating. The larger someone is and the more body mass they have, the lower their BAC because they have more blood in their body to dilute the alcohol. Someone dieting will have less in their stomach, resulting in a higher BAC. Question 23. Which of the following is not one of the unknown factors that also affects a customer's BAC that should be considered when using a BAC chart? 
A. Fried drinking. B. Emotional state. C. Economic status. D. Medications taken. And the correct answer is option C. Economic status. BSC charts are reasonably accurate and use estimated body weight and a number of content drinks to calculate blood alcohol content level. But prior drinking, physical condition, emotional state, and medications taken are unknown factors that can also affect a customer's BAC. Question 24. Which of the following is not a special surface feature of valid IDs? A. A certain texture, B. A certain softness, C. A certain flexibility, D. A certain thickness. And the correct answer is option B. A certain softness. ID security features like special lamination that give the car a certain texture, thickness, or flexibility make it more difficult to fake them. Softness will indicate a problem. Question 25. What percentage of a 40 proof liquor is alcohol? A. 10. B. 20. C. 40. D. 50. And the correct answer is option B. 20. Proof indicates alcohol strength by dividing the proof by 2 to determine how much alcohol a liquor contains. A 40 proof bottle of rum is 20% alcohol. Question 26. Dram shop laws are a special kind of blank liability. A. Civil. B. Criminal. C. Personal. D. Administrative. And the correct answer is option A. Civil. Dram shop laws fall under civil liability and are specific to alcohol sales. Dram shop laws mean the establishment owner, manager, and staff can all be sued if a death occurs as a result of one of the intoxicated customers. Question 27. A mixed drink of half an ounce each of 100 proof vodka rum, gin, and triple sec counts as how many standard drinks? A. One and a half. B. Two. C. Two and a half. D. Three. And the correct answer is option B. Two. One ounce of 100 proof liquor is one standard drink. So, half an ounce each of 400 proof liquors in one mixed drink equals two standard drinks. Question 28. An intoxicated customer waits for a while before trying to leave. They eat a few pieces of bread, drink some lemonade and have a latte, which is most likely to sober them up. A. Eating bread. B. Waiting a while. C. Drinking a lemonade. D. The espresso in a latte. And the correct answer is option B. Waiting a while. The liver processes alcohol at a rate of about one drink per hour. So the only way to really sober up is to wait and allow time to pass. Question 29. A healthy liver can metabolize and process beer at blank ounces per hour. A. 6 B. 8 C. 10 D. 12 And the correct answer is option D. 12 12 ounces of beer counts as one standard drink and a healthy liver can process about one drink per hour. Question 30. Civil liability focuses on blank for anyone hurt by someone who was negligent. 
A. Fines B. Jail time C. Probation D. Compensation And the correct answer is option D. Compensation Civil liability includes lawsuits and compensation for anyone harmed by irresponsible service. Jail time, probation and fines fall under criminal liability. Question 31. Most states hold you under blank liability for serving customers under 21 years of age. A. Civil B. Criminal C. Probational D. Administrative And the correct answer is option B. Criminal Breaking town, city, county and state alcohol laws such as serving alcohol to someone under 21 will result in the server being criminally liable. Question 32 Which of the following actions falls under criminal liability a serving a customer two drinks at once b not offering a designated driver service c removing alcohol from its original container d serving a customer who is passing alcohol to someone under the age of 21 and the correct answer is option d serving a customer who is passing alcohol someone under the age of 21. Criminal liability pertains to laws around alcohol service. Knowingly serving someone who is passing drinks to someone who is under the age of 21 is illegal. Question 33. Eating food helps keep alcohol in the blank longer. A. Liver. B. Blood. C. Stomach D. Small Intestine And the correct answer is option C. Stomach Alcohol enters the stomach where it is absorbed into the stomach walls. From there, it travels into the small intestine where most of the alcohol is absorbed into the bloodstream. Once in the bloodstream, it travels to the brain within minutes. Keeping food in the stomach helps slow alcohol absorption and slow its path to the small intestine. Question 34. Which of the following is an example of slowed reaction time? A. Smoking B. Losing eye contact C. Bumping into things D. Using fall language. And the correct answer is option B losing eye contact. Customers who are unable to keep their focus and eye contact are exhibiting signs of slowed reaction time. Bumping into things will be an example of decreased motor coordination. Question 35 Which customer is more likely to have? A higher BAC. A. The customer drinking a light beer. B. The customer drinking a dark beer. C. The customer drinking a white wine. D. The customer drinking an old fashioned. And the correct answer is option D. The customer drinking an old fashioned. An old fashioned is made with liquor which has a much higher ABV than beer and wine. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to share it with your family and friends.